Welcome to part seven of the maze tutorial. In part seven, what I'm going to be showing you guys how to do is creating a heads up display or HUD uh, so it'll show the amount of coins that you pick up in a good sized text. Uh, but before that, I want to show you guys some of y'all have had problems with the main actor going through the walls. What you want to do to change that is right click on the main actor and change him from a rigid body to dynamic. And then if you hit P and play it, you shouldn't have any problems going through the walls at all. Okay, so that'll fix that. Now let's get started creating our heads up display. To do that, we're going to go to add new. And we're going to add a new scene and we're going to left click on empty. And we're going to rename it capital H E U D for HUD or heads up display. And what we're going to do first is add a camera in there. So go to Add and select Camera. And we're going to hit G to grab it on the G, or the, and then Z to grab it on the Z axis. And we're going to pull it up. And then we'll add in our plane. So go to Add Mesh and Plane. And if we hit 0 on the number pad, we can always move our camera in closer if it's too far. and then hit zero on your number pad to check it out. We're going to move our plane up into the top left corner. That's good. And then what we're going to do is we're going to split the area. So you want to hover your mouse till you get this double arrow and then right click and split the area. And then left click with your mouse and we're going to change the screen on the right to the UV image editor. Next thing we're going to do on the left here, you're going to go into edit mode. And you're going to press U on your keyboard. And that'll give you the option to unwrap the mesh. And on the right, that'll you'll see in the UV editor a little yellow line. What we're going to do next is we're going to be applying an image to our plane, a text image. So you're going to go to image and go to open. And I have an image saved for y'all on the 506 server. So you're going to go to the 506 and go to the blender folder and select the one that says arialpd.tga and we're going to do open image. And if you guys um, aren't in my class. Basically, if you just Google that file, it'll come up. That's how I got it. Now what we're going to do is we're going to right click on the corners and then you can left click and move this little point up. And we have four points. So we're going to right click on this one and then left click and left click again and drag. And we're going to outline the at symbol. And if you hold your middle mouse button, you can move around, and then you can use the scroll button to scroll in so you can see it better. So we're going to get this as close as we can. And then once you have it as close as you can, what you're going to do is go to the draw type. You should always be aware of your draw type. And we're going to select texture. That way we can see the texture. And I've got to go back into camera mode there. Close that out. And we can see our texture. And I'm going to hit R and rotate it. So it'll be the right way or right side up. So just press R and you can rotate your plane. And then once you have that, hover your mouse so you'll get the double arrow, and then right click and select join areas, and then left click when you get the uh, arrow pointing to the right, and it'll join the areas. There we go. I'm going to get back in camera view here.
There we go. Alright. Next thing what we're going to be doing is um, going into the edit mode. So make sure your plane selected. You're going to go into edit mode. And then you're going to click F9 or select editing. And under there you're going to look where it says texture face. This is really important. What you're going to select is where it says two side. You're going to select text and you're going to select alpha. Okay, so three things there. You want to select the two side button so it'll show your your texture on two sides. You're going to show text or select text and you're going to click on alpha. Okay, and that'll render it depending on the alpha channel of the texture. And then next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to the logic buttons. And we're going to add in a property. Property name is going to be text. And we want to go back into object mode before we go any farther. You'll see the little zeros. That's going to be your amount of pickup items. So you've changed the property to text with a capital T and then you're changing it to integer so it'll just be one zero you won't have all the decimals and then we're going to add in a sensor controller and actuator our sensor is going to be on message the subject of our message is going to be pick up all lowercase letters and I've got my number lock on so let me try that again there we go. Connect your sensor to your controller. Connect your controller to your actuator. We're going to make our actuator on property. Change assign to add because we want to add up the number of items we collect. Our property is going to be on text with a capital T. And then the value, you could do 1. That'll um, or you could do 10 or whatever, but I'm going to set it on 1. And then the last thing we need to do, our HUD is all set up. The last thing we need to do is go to level 1 here. And you're going to right click on your camera. And you're going to be adding in another actuator. You're going to select scene. And then instead of restart, we're going to do add overlay scene and your overlay scene is going to be HUD and what that's going to do is it's going to put our HUD scene on top of our current scene so once you have it all connected make sure you're in camera view and you can hit P to play and then you can move towards your objects whoops I messed up at my own game there let's try this again there we go and as you can see now you have your score displayed. As you collect the items it will display the score or the number of items you pick up above it. Very cool. So once you have that hit escape and go to file and save and click on your link and you have properly added your uh, heads up display.